Hi guys, it's Alessandra and there's no need to call for help today because I'm finally reviewing the movie my mother's friend made. The movie that holds the world record for lowest grossing at the box office on purpose. Sean said there were issues with the person who wrote it and he had issues with distributing the movie. He was able to sell a few copies overseas but that unfortunately ended. However, the reason this is now the perfect time to review the movie is because my mommy's friend, Mr. Kathy's husband, or Mr. John Penny as he prefers. My mom met him through her friend Kathy, so I was telling a little inside joke in case she's watching this, which she will be. <laughs> Has the rights to the movie back. So I'm going to review it, and before the end of this year, he's going to be able to sell copies of his own movie. I'm very happy for him, because this movie is a masterpiece. Had it been released in all theaters, and everything had gone swimmingly, this movie probably would have done better than The Exorcist. Honestly, I thought that movie was a little boring. This movie whoops Halloween's butt. It is a psychological thriller. You do not know who is the actual bad person until the end. And to make sure I'm going to avoid spoilers and not give anything away, I'm going to be reviewing this movie, minus the last couple of minutes, only the last five, just don't want to give everything away. And I have some of the scenes randomly out of order. That way when you guys watch it yourself, you will not have too many spoilers. Also, if you're wondering how I got a copy of this DVD if he wasn't allowed to distribute it in North America and wasn't allowed to do it in Europe after a while and South America, they made him stop. The reason I got a copy is because he simply started giving them away for free. So thank you, John. I am happy you have your movie back. So is my Wally. And I cannot wait to share some of my favorite scenes with everyone right now in this review. Oh, and just so you know, when this movie is available for sale, I am going to be posting a short announcing it, and I'm also going to be announcing any special features, and I know he's going to have a lot of special features, that will be on the DVD. Looks a lot of stress. So I went back on the road again to try to make ends meet. My wife, Brenda, went back to work, too. Did I tell you that? Do you think Britney Spears was really in love with Justin Timberlake? Who? I don't. I think it was just her first crush. Not that it probably wasn't, like, totally intense or anything, but I don't think it was love. Well, that's what I thought. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, she was the hottest guy in school, and I never even got to bang him. So the movie begins with our couple driving through the desert in the middle of the night. And obviously that can't be for good reasons. She has crimped hair and is well put together, and he is not. Something that will matter when you watch the movie yourself. They're having a casual conversation when they really shouldn't be, because there's nothing casual about what is going on. You know when they say the name of the horror movie, in the horror movie, things are about to change up. How are you sleeping? We're discussing something so frightening. You're really one of a kind, you know? I don't think I've ever met anyone like you before. Not gonna lie, I've seen the movie like five times, and uh, every time that scene comes on, I'm like, oh my god. 
like, <laughs> I had to slow it down just to make sure you guys saw it. So, this is where the psychological part of the movie happens. We don't know who is in reality, who is not in reality. If anyone's in reality, could it be a dream since they are sleeping together? Wait, that was supposed to be a... Maybe this one's better. Okay, sleeping together. <laughs> Either way, they're going to an abandoned road where almost no good can happen. Are you sleeping or not? What was that? Nothing, nothing. I, 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 it's, 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 as soon as we get this done with, I'll, I'll feel better. I'm sorry. Interesting that he says he'll feel better as soon as they get this done. Like he wants to put everything behind him and pretend everything's okay. We're not driving through the desert. You don't look a lot younger than me and I'm not married. Okay, buddy. <laughs> Next scene's crazy. What's going on? I think you did last night. Oh my God. I think you killed him last night. We could go home. Everything's great. <laughs> okay, I think we all know that that's not how the movie's gonna end. Not in the middle with, yay, we did it, everybody, by accident, of course, even though the driver magically changed. <laughs> so he's gonna walk around at night with a miniature flashlight from her purse. You could shine that flashlight all you want. We know nothing good is ever in anyone's trunk. At least not in horror movies. It can only be something evil. Jealousy is never a good thing. Is this an actual person with a knife or a demon? Could he be an alien? Why is he suddenly just barging in? How did he know they were in there? You're gonna have to watch yourself to find out. He's alive. He's weak. No, not Joey. If he's alive, nothing's gonna stop him. Don't start talking like that, all right? You're not making it any better. If he's alive, nothing's gonna stop him. Maybe he is a demon. Or maybe she's hallucinating from dehydration and thinks he's more powerful than he is. Either way, driving through the desert at night, no, 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 absolutely, no, there, I need, if there isn't a house every like half mile, no, no thank you, no, no, I will never drive cross country. And not just because I've watched this movie, but because I've watched other movies that also took place in the desert in the USA, so no. no. Anyway, next scene. We'll get it. Yeah, we need to get this first. This scene not only shows that he has a daughter, but that he's babying the woman he's with. He keeps trying to talk down to her like she's a little girl when she's a grown woman. You're in this desert together, getting chased by this person.
Could they actually be dead? Is that the psychological aspect of this film? Who knows? The answer is people who've watched it, so watch it when it comes to DVD. No, but seriously, what the absolute fuck? I could, I could say fuck on YouTube if it's more than 30 seconds in, right? Like, how is... Oh my god. I would, like, just probably throw up. I would not believe... If, well, no. That's right, dig that hole nice and deep so you could hide your misdeeds from the young woman who you're cheating on your wife with while your daughter waits at home. Honestly, wouldn't you kill someone who charged into the room with a knife? Seduction. Why did you mean? Because uh, roulette. And there was nothing about it that seemed strange. I'm trying to remember. What <laughs> eat? I told you, Kate, about the thing. And you never thought about like that was too good to be true? You were so easy, you were too easy. You didn't stand a chance. And that uh, every time you saw her, it was different, wasn't it? I don't know. Think about it. It makes you feel any better. Does he live? Or is he a zombie? Perhaps a ghost? Something else, maybe? We haven't seen a spaceship yet, but is that ruled out? Now they're working together? Or are they? Is this just a plan to kill him again? So he just stabbed his girlfriend in the leg. How are you even going to take... What? I get that she threatened to control your life, but come on, man. Ease up. Is she wearing a completely different outfit and hairstyle now that he no longer trusts her? Interesting. Okay, so does the dog not trust her or is the dog just doing its job? What is going on? Who is the psycho murderer? Come on. 
this is literally the perfect setting for a horror movie. And only six people got to see it in theaters. What was done to my mother's friend is an injustice that must be right. And it is because he has the rights back and now he can sell the DVD and maybe one day release it in theaters. Right now he's just planning to sell DVDs, doing all that remastering and pre-atizing. Like, wow. Wow. Okay, Pepper, I'm going to turn the camera off. Do not attack me. Good girl. When I say this movie will have you on the edge of your seats and guessing the whole time, this is what I mean. She's just running through the desert, completely different outfit, even though the change was not mentioned. And what you're about to see in the next couple of scenes, which does not include the ending because I want you all to be surprised when you see it, is just wow. If I hit someone with a neck massager and they actually died from it, it would put me in a mental health crisis I would never be able to recover from. Could that be what's happening in this movie? Find out by watching it when the DVD comes out. <laughs> Oh my god, jump scare. But seriously, literally help anyone who is in the desert alone. Like, not even for this movie. Like, it's just a wasteland. It's a death sentence. <laughs> when my mommy's friend handed me the DVD at his house randomly when I was 18-ish, I was like, um, looking at the back and I'm like, oh, I don't know because deserts freak me out. But then I watch the movie and I'm like, yeah, this is scary. Um, I'm trying to put like scenes in the movie and edit it out of order so it looks cute and quirky. But just know when you watch this, it's not going to be like my review. It is going to be scary. But I hope you're enjoying this cute review of it. Oh my god. Oh god. <laughs> Okay, so I have both cats with me now, so I'm not going to get the angle. Can't even see why. Okay. Yeah, so there's a completely alternate reality and completely different version of events that just took place. And uh, that's something else I love about the movie. Now she's injured, alone, frightened, and a zombie and or a live person is chasing her through the desert. Or is she dreaming? We're going to be together. Seriously, every time I hear that line, it freaks me out. 
Anyway, guys, that's pretty much it for my review. Like I said, I didn't want to give the last couple of minutes away because I want you to see the movie yourself. I think it's something that everyone should do. Okay. Do it.